Hi there, <clears throat> Claude Larson here. I'm in my studio and I know most of my videos are about my collage and they're about painting, um, but I do have some of you who are here for the quilting. So um, I just wanted to give you a tip. I live about uh, almost an hour away from any kind of store where I can buy supplies like if I wanted a particular thread or or if I needed some sort of uh, any kind of quilting materials, I would have to drive about 50 minutes or so. And so when I run out of things, I often just look around my studio and I try to find something that will do the same job. So now this is a quilt that I'm working on and it, I've really just gotten it started. And I wanted to applique these, um, I don't really know what I'm calling them, bars, um, spikes, whatever they are. I wanted to applique them onto the surface of my quilt. And I didn't have tearaway stabilizer, or at least I didn't have a big enough piece left in order to do this. So I looked around at what I did have, gave it a try on a different piece, because I obviously didn't want to try it on um, my good fabric. Um, and I actually discovered this is like the newsprint that when you get something in the mail in a box, you know, sometimes they put bubble wrap, sometimes they just use like plain old newsprint. And I used the newsprint and it actually did an excellent job. So let me just trim a couple threads here. This was the last piece I did. Um, I use monofilament. Um, I believe it's nylon. Let's see, it's on my sewing machine. Monofilament nylon thread uh, on the top and then something that blends with the fabric on the back. But anyway, I stitched it on newsprint just to see what would happen. And let me tell you what, super simple. I can rip this off. Comes off super easy. Um, and the stitches, of course, perforate the paper. And then all of these little pieces, they come right out. I find this is a lot easier than using tearaway. Uh, it's certainly cheaper. I mean, I'm reusing packaging material, but it's easier to remove then with tear away um, stabilizer. And so, you know, I'll get all of this off. And you can see that I have little bits of paper left over. Maybe on the dark fabric, you can see that there's just like little tiny scraps, right? And I could, I suppose I could sit here with tweezers. I'm going to give this a try. This is um, like a lint roller. I keep one of these in my studio because with textiles, it can really just be a mess. And I can just brush over this. And these little tiny bits of paper seem to just be coming right off, which is kind of nice. So... Time saving, money saving, works just as well. And lets you do your applique easy peasy. So just thought I'd share that. Um, discovered it out of necessity, but uh, it really did a nice job. So hope that's useful. And thanks for checking it out. Bye now.